Welcome to the Lowdown on Physics. This is screencast number four in a series going through the VCE Physics Unit 3 topic, Electronics and Photonics. Tonight we'll be tackling the concept of diodes. What is a diode? Well, a diode is this uh, semiconductor, and I guess what it can do is... Uh, be used to control voltages and currents, a lot like resistors and capacitors are used. Uh, it only works under a limited voltage. So if you don't reach this, this minimum voltage, then the diode will not allow any current to flow. Where do we use them? Uh, three main areas that, that really come to mind and stick out are controlling voltage, voltage and current. Um, a controlled switch, voltage controlled switch, and for DC, AC rectification where it converts AC into DC. Now, diodes have two terminals. We have a P terminal, which is called the anode, it's a positive end, and we have the N, -term N terminal called the cathode, which is the negative end. They are unidirectional in their current flow, so they only allow the current to flow in one direction. And this is what we call forward bias. If it's in reverse bias, it will not allow current to flow under normal voltages. So you can see our symbol for the diode, and positive end, negative end, current flows in that direction. Remember, conventional current. So typical voltage versus current graph. Now, these are not ohmic conductors, far from it. So a typical graph would look something like this. So until we sort of get this minimum voltage that's required, no current is going to flow. And then it has this limiting voltage up here. So this, this maximum forward voltage, in this case for this diode, is 0.7 volts. So the resistance is really, really large at the low voltages, hence no current flowing. And then as we get up to our maximum forward voltage, the resistance of the diode gets really, really small. So we're going to work through an example using diodes and use this just to introduce the analysis style questions that you can expect to see in your exams. So question, we have a diode and a 45 ohm resistor. They're connected to a 3 volt battery. So we have the graph for our diode. So we can use that to find our forward biased voltage, assuming we're reaching our minimal minimal current of, say, what are we looking at? You know, somewhere around the 400 milliamps. So the first question then is calculate the power dissipated in the resistor. So first thing we need to know, uh, power equals voltage times current we need to know the voltage across the resistor. Looking at this, the voltage across the diode we can assume is 0.7 and we'll check that it is in just a moment. So let's, making that assumption, let's have a look. The voltage across the resistor would be 3 take the 0.7 which is 2.3 volts. Now current is voltage divided by resistance, 2.3 divided by 45 gives us 51, uh, sorry, 0 0.51 amperes or 51 milliamps. Seeing this is 40 milliamps and we're definitely at the 0.7, it's safe to say that at 50 milliamps, the diode would op be operating at 0.7 volts. Given that, P equals IV, I times the voltage, which is 0.118 watts. Now, alternatively, we could have done P equals V squared over R. And, not surprisingly, got exactly the same answer. But we're going to need current in the next question, so it's handy to have calculated it already. So next question, how much power is dissipated in the diode? We don't know the resistance of the diode, but we can use P equals VI for the diode. So in this case, the voltage on the diode is 0.7. Therefore, power equals IV 
current times 0.7 which is 0.036 watts. Now the diode is taken out and it's connected in reverse bias so it's switched around. What's the power dissipated by the resistor now? So the first question is, is current now going to flow? The answer is no. Therefore the voltage on the resistor is zero which means that the power must be zero. This is a common trick question. Often it's a one mark question which is a giveaway on your exam. So look for that. What is the voltage across the diode? If the diode's backwards and there's zero voltage across the resistor, because there's zero current, then all the voltage must be lying somewhere. So the voltage is actually sitting entirely across the diode. So the diode, in reverse bias, has all of the voltage across it. Therefore, it is 3 volts. Again, another question that often comes up in your exam. So beware when it's in reverse bias. On the resistor it's zero. On the diode it's V in.